In the realm of door games, a few stand out among the landscape of gaming as the standard at which all door games were measured to. The legendary status of these door games influenced many spin-offs and clones of their gameplay. Games like Baron Realms Elite, Trade Wars 2002, and the gold standard Legend of the Red Dragon. Today, the DI delves into a door game that has a lot of nods to many of these great BBS door games, but puts its own spin on them. What game is it, you ask? I give you Extolus. Ext um, uh, ex Extolus? Um, okay, um, okay, Google, how do we say this name? Exitolus. Exitolus. Okay, I give you Exitolus. Version 3.20 by ECI Software. I'd like to thank the user the Buzzsaw on subreddit BBS for pointing out this really great game. Once I log into the game, I am greeted with a warning since this is an unregistered copy. Prepare for the harsh Exitalis winter, which is coming in just 15 days. Please register this game before features are lost. Hmm, winter is coming. How come that sounds so familiar these days? Anyways, moving on to the character creation. There is no disappointment here. First, you have to choose two races your character could be. You have a choice of 10. Then you choose two character classes. You have a choice of 14. And then you choose your profession. You have a choice of four. Once that is done, then you choose what kingdom to be part of and the way your manor will run and your personal manor's tax rate. And then you name your manor. That's quite a lot of choices to make and we haven't even started the game yet. Now that we have our character all settled, we are given some hints about the gameplay. First off, we need some armor and a weapon. Pretty standard stuff there. I'd like to point out that this game has some pretty amazing looking ANSI graphics. They are all pretty top notch here. There is also a ton of places to visit. You have the shops, the guilds, the inn, the church, the training grounds, the merchant wharfs, the back alleys, quests, outside the city, and your manor and the armies. There is like three kinds of games going on here in Exitalis. You have your standard lord hack and slash in the forest, but there is multiple areas to go and hunt. You have the quests, which are a separate part of the game, which can take a few days to complete them. Once you have completed that day's part of the quest, you will have to come back the next day to continue on. You keep going until you have finished the number of days that particular quest offers. One really cool thing about the quest is, there is a quest editor that you can build your own quest with and share them with other people. And finally, there is the manor and the kingdom area of this game. You have to manage how you run your manor and grow them in size, and resources, money, and forces. You could attack or create a treaty with other manors, or eventually overthrow the ruling king and take on the burden of lordship of that kingdom. Exitalis just seems to have it all, but when I was digging around about this game, it was plagued with bugs that allowed the players to cheat and gain extremely unfair advantages that turned many players away from the game. I played this game for a number of days, and after seeing this screen more than I'd care to admit, I finally hit the winter storm. This blocked you from being able to go on quest and probably a few other things within the game. It was designed to make you want to register the door game. This is my final thoughts on Exitalis. The game could have been a solid hit, with its gorgeous anti-graphics and immense character creation and many diverse gameplay aspects, I've never seen another door game with such a large scope for gameplay. I do believe that it did have some success because I found a lot of player-made quest packs to download for this game on the BBS archives. I think because of the cheat exploits, it never was fully appreciated for its brilliance of blending several different games into a really great game. I give a lot of kudos to the creators of this game, it was pretty well thought out. If you were lucky enough to play this game or any of the other games I've reviewed, drop a line down in the comments. I always love to hear from people who played these great old games. See you at the next video, but until then, Digital Infinity, out.